What up everybody, Ikis here, and this is my review on the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier 30 in the Damier et Bin. I got this bag back in August 2016. I currently reside in Southern California now, but I'm originally from Hawaii. In August, I went to visit my parents. It was a fun vacation for me. We decided to hit up Ala Moana and go to Louis Vuitton and it was actually a really great experience. I like that store. I wish I could shop there more often. Side note, when you shop for Louis Vuitton in Hawaii, the retail price is actually 15% less, along with the tax since it's 4%. I asked the sales rep about the retail prices. They couldn't really elaborate on it because they weren't sure. On LouisVuitton.com, the prices are equivalent to what they are here in California. So technically, I saved about $200, got the bag anyway, which is a great plus. Hey! The first part of the video, I'll focus more on the bag, but the last part of the video, I will show you how I organize it if you guys are interested in that. Let's get on to the review. We're gonna change the angle so you guys can see the bag a little bit more up close. Here we go. This is the receipt from Louis Vuitton at Ala Moana Shopping Center in Hawaii. This is the old retail packaging from 2016. Their new range of packaging is called Imperial Saffron, which is an archive rewind. In the box, I store my Vandelier strap that is included with the bag. Now for the bag in question. The print is called Damier et Ben, which means checkerboard. The measurements of this bag is 30 centimeters. In inches, 11.8 in length, 8.3 in height, 6.7 in width. All of the leather trimmings are of treated cowhide leather with gold hardware. The rivets, padlock, and zipper poles are branded, and the inside is crafted with red textile lining. As far as the Louis Vuitton Speedy, it is made with one continuous piece of canvas. So the Louis Vuitton Paris will be up right on the front side and upside down on the back side. Louis Vuitton incorporates polyvinyl chloride and canvas together. PVC contains a natural fire retardant polymer, so this means allegedly it makes the handbags water and fire resistant. In my experience, canvas is definitely a worry-free material, especially Damier Ben. In the 1930s, air travel became a trend by the rich and elite. Louis Vuitton capitalized on global travel by launching the Kipal, which later became a global success. And because of that success, Vuitton later wanted to offer a smaller bag for weekend trips, in which he designed the Speedy. It was first dubbed as Express, but appropriately renamed to the Speedy to represent the fast-paced lifestyle. With the construction of the Speedy, you can also fold it on its sides for storage options. The zipper is pretty smooth, but if ever it becomes stiff, you can wipe it down with wax paper. Getting into the bag, you can see that it is lined with red textile lining. And behind the zipper compartment in the Speedy, you may obtain the unique date code. This is the nylon shoulder strap that I'm using with my Speedy with gold hardware from Malto.com. It is adjustable with the length of 55 inches and the price point is $30. The bandelier strap tends to dig into my shoulder more, so I can definitely appreciate how the nylon strap is an inch and a half thicker, softer, and very little maintenance. This Aben treated leather luggage tag comes in two sizes from Louis Vuitton. This is the largest of the two, and the price point is $65. Since I'm born and raised from Hawaii, I sent my tag over to my mom to get the exclusive Hawaii heat stamp. The heat stamp service is free. Attached to the tag is a half inch mini gold clip from Malto.com. Price point $8.15. You may find alternative clips at your local craft store, but I went with this clip because it is highly recommended by the handbag community and the purse form. This works great for bag charms, and I suggest using this clip for any Louis Vuitton luggage tag.
guys, so I'm gonna bring you in this angle um, so I can show you how I organize my bag. Let's bring you a little lower. This is my Samorga organizer. It's made out of red felt. And oh, I do have a pen already here just to show you that it does have a pen pocket. There's a, also a, another one in here in the middle too. If you use a bag shaper, if you ever look into a Speedy that's pre-loved and it has like black markings, it's because it's so flat on the bottom, it will cause a lot of stress on the four corners of the Speedy. It will definitely hold its value if you use this and want to keep its shape. It is made out of felt, so it is very, very light. It comes with this detachable piece here. It has Velcros on the side here, so you can put this in the center like this. I don't prefer to use it this way because I like to compartmentalize with the uh, items that I have. So the Velcro pieces, they're not sewn all the way down. So you can use these as little pockets. Or if you bend it over this way and attach it to one side, you can use it as a cup holder. Uh, there are other Samorga organizers where it's already made with a cup holder, but this, I think, it's a little bit more well-rounded because you can utilize these pockets on the side here. I don't have a water bottle with me, but I do have a <laughs> Starbucks drink just to show you that it can hold it in place. This will definitely be useful for like a Neverfull or any kind of tote bag. This zipper compartment here, it does fit a iPhone 7 Plus. So in here, I, I usually keep a spare gum, but um, here I'm currently recording with my 7 Plus, but here is the case that I use. This is from Caseology. It is hard TPU plastic. And then this gold piece here is a bumper, so it does detach. And this ring here is the brand Serift on Amazon, and it basically sticks onto the case just like so. I use this because the phone is so big. I upgraded from iPhone 6. I needed this to stabilize my phone on my hand. Let's put this case in here just to show you that it does fit. So you put it in one side at a time and it's, it easily fits. You do have to maneuver a little bit, but you know, just to show you that it does fit. So I got my gum in there, Morga inside. If I'm able to find these items that I'm showing you, I'll put the links in the description box. This is a Michael Kors iPad mini case. It has a magnetic closure. There you go. Flip it over like this. Hold it as an easel. You can flip it to portrait mode. It is made with Safiano leather, and I think this is Safiano effect, so it's PVC. Put this in the, there you go. And then here I have my Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 19. I'm looking into getting a, a wristlet strap for this because I do take this out as a quick errand kind of bag. I mostly use it as a catch-all. So I have some wipes, some side cash, external battery power bank, and some extra gum in there. My friend's business card. Not hard to let you see, there you go. Here I have my Louis Vuitton PM Agenda. And I, it's not really set up right now. I'm currently waiting for some paper documents that I ordered. So here are some business cards there. And back here I have some insurance cards. I made these paper documents myself with Silhouette. And they're supposed to um, mimic the Louis Vuitton Steven Sprouse graffiti line. So yeah, there's that. It's a really small pencil. It does fit nicely in here. I don't prefer to use pen. I got the pencil from Daiso. It's right here. These are prescription sunnies. They are from zenioptical.com. I really love this style. It reminds me of the uh, Dolce & Cabana. This is a four ring key holder. This is leather. This is from Daiso as well. It was $3. I wanted to get this because I'm thinking about the four ring key holder from Louis Vuitton, but this will suffice for now because I don't always pull it out. Put it in the side pocket here. I also carry uh, my grandma's rosary just so she's with me all the time. Put it right in there. This is a Michael Kors Jet Set Travel Key Pouch. Uh, and this is an iris with silver hardware. And these just hold gift cards, point cards. Put it in this pocket there. 
this is a selfie light you just clip it onto your phone just like so and you press this button it has three light settings and this is super bright so there's one two and three I don't use this all the time but it's definitely helpful um, when I need to take group pictures so I'll put it right here okay, this is a coin purse from Target the brand is called Mirona has a little tassel gold hardware This is another Jet Set Travel Key pouch, but in vanilla, gold hardware. These I keep um, just excess cards, so like debit, credit cards, stuff like that. I'm actually going to put this in the toiletry pouch. I forgot, I usually keep it in there. So this is eyeglass cleaner, chapstick, ibuprofen painkillers, and a compact sized lotion. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a pen pocket where I keep this cross pen right in the center of the Samorga organizer. So on the outer pockets of the Samorga organizer, in the bag, I keep this Clippa uh, bag holder. The pocket next to it, I keep my keys to the padlock of my Speedy in there. I keep it in this pouch and then my tile right there. And then I have my car keys, it has a tile attached as well, my Louis Vuitton clay. And this I use as a daily wallet. It has the credentials that I use every day. So I'll just put that on the side there. On the D-ring, I'll attach this coin purse in which I carry my iPhone 7 Plus Lightning to audio jack, uh, Lightning headphones and lightning charger. And I'll just swing in there, just like that. And that's it. So that was my review on the Speedy Bandelier 30 in Damier Eben. Hopefully I was informative enough for you to decide if the Speedy is the kind of handbag you would possibly want to invest your money in or maybe the Samorga organizer or the Mauto strap uh, or what have you. I hope I helped you out in some sort of way since that was the whole purpose of this video. I am very enthusiastic about the handbag world. I love doing research, finding out if the item is authentic or replica, the history, the designer. I, I love all of that. I don't feel like I've expressed this in the past. Um, I've always been doing, you know, these like music or like comedy videos. I'm still gonna continue on with that. But yeah, that's it. So see y'all later. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.